Let's show you where we are right now with potential tropical cyclone one. Yeah, still still not even a, a technically uh, tropical cyclone, not a depression, not a tropical storm. It still hasn't organized yet. However, the wind speeds are beginning to increase. A hurricane hunter within the storm found that wind speeds had increased to around 40 miles per hour. So those are tropical storm force winds. It's just a technicality now. It's just not a, a cyclone per se. So it is spreading some cloud cover over our skies right now. Even some showers moving up through southwest Florida. These will continue to push to the north. However, there is some drier air up here, so it will battle that drier air. It will eventually win out and we'll start to see some showers arrive as we go throughout midday into this afternoon. Couple of updates here. They've increased the tropical storm watch over South Florida to a tropical storm warning. Also right along the coast of the middle of Longboat Key south through coastal Sarasota County. Now a tropical storm warning, but inland Sarasota, inland Manatee and up towards Polk Highlands, Hardy DeSoto still a tropical storm watch. We may see this upgraded to a tropical storm warning. It really depends on where the storm tracks. The latest track though from the Hurricane Center takes the storm a little bit farther south. However, a stronger tropical storm up from 40 miles per hour to a 45 mile per hour tropical storm as it makes landfall somewhere near Naples to Fort Myers. That cone of uncertainty just showing you where the center of the storm could track. Impacts will extend well beyond the edges of that forecast cone. The system then continues to track up to the north and east, actually strengthening maybe a little bit more over the Atlantic. When do those tropical storm force winds begin to arrive? Well, it looks like it's probably sometime through Saturday night into early Sunday morning, but our chance of seeing those tropical storm force winds so low at this point, 4% in Tampa, more of a 37% chance and even higher in points to the south. So that's what we're watching. Let me show you the future cast here as we head through the next 24 to 36 hours. Showers begin to arrive as we go throughout the day today. Heavier rain in areas south. That's where we could see that flooding. There is a significant flooding threat in areas south along with a minor storm surge threat. So one to two foot seas a little bit higher than normal along the coast of Sarasota County. Not a huge concern there. Rainfall is going to be the main calling card with this system. We're looking at flood watches in effect for the eastern and southern part of our area. And that's because of the potential for two to three inches of rain for us and then potentially upwards of eight to 10 inches of rain in areas south into the Miami area. So just a quick breakdown of what to expect. Some strengthening with this system through the day today. That rain begins to arrive later tonight. It gets breezy tonight into the day tomorrow. We'll have to watch for that flooding threat, especially in areas south. That's the main.